guys, I have Nova and we are riding in the car, which was one of her biggest struggles. Um, but it was also something that the prior trainer said would never be possible. Um, so obviously we've taught her a down, we've taught her a double down, and now we're enforcing that in the car. That is the game changer. If she's got too many options, if we just put her in the car and try to have her be calm on her own, she's going to be pacing around. She's going to be looking out the windows. She'll be all over the place. She'll be whining. She will not settle on her own, which is why we teach the double down, which teaches dogs to breathe out of their nose, which teaches them to relax. So you can hear her, literally hear her regulating herself. And if she's in her double down, she's not whining, she's not panting, she's not pacing, she's not barking, she has to regulate her mind, which means she's calm. And guess what? Time is the greatest tool after we've taught all these skills and repetition. So car rides every day, even if they're to nowhere, just to get more practice and reps and create a good calm association to the car. Guys, we just got off the exit. We're almost home. We just had a 90 minute round trip drive with her. We drove to Frederick, which is about 45 minutes. We walked around downtown um, and now we're driving back. Uh, as you can see, yep, we're driving. And so we've got her in this nice downstay in the car. Is it perfect? No. This is a dog who the prior trainer just said, give it up. You're never gonna get her to ride in the car nicely. Um, and so that's pretty saying that a prior board and train couldn't accomplish this. She's still got some panting, but look, she's trying so hard to regulate it, right? She's in her double down. She's breathing through her nose. She's got a terrible association to the car. Um, and so it takes, time is our greatest tool right now. There's literally nothing else we can do other than enforce this double down and continue to take car rides every single day until one day she's like, this is no big deal. She gets in, she lays down, there's no anxiety. It doesn't happen overnight. It has to take reps and consistency on our end and daily car rides. So our job is to make sure she's down, she's got her chin down, and she's trying. And she really is. Her breathing through her nose right now is trying. Good. We're at a stoplight, which is a trigger for a lot of dogs to pop up. Um, what I love about this car ride is that I haven't heard her whine at all. She's really been trying so hard to keep that down. If I hear the panting get too intense, look, I'm at an eight, I'll click, right? And help her out a little bit. But imagine how good her car rides are going to be if we hold her to this standard and do car rides every day. Where is she gonna be in three months, six months, a year? Her owners are gonna forget that they ever struggled in the car at all. Just parked back home. Watch when I open the door. No rushing out, right? She's waiting. And I can even get her even more relaxed. Okay, back to that double down. Okay, good. When I'm ready to get her out, I can tone recall her. Good girl. Sit. Down. Good girl. And, nope, down. Good girl. And then I can go shut my door and get her all situated. I can even get her a little bit more calm. That's it. Nice work shut my door and have my dog safely waiting over here. Good girl.